Hey guys, this is the Piano Tutorial Man, and I'm back with a new video on how to play Atlas by Coldplay. Just so you know, this piano tutorial is more a tutorial on how to play the chords of the song and to sing along, as opposed to playing all the words on the, the piano. Um, I'd rather play the chords, sing along at the same time. I know a lot of people like to do that, so that's why I do these tutorials. By the way, don't forget to check out my cover of Atlas. Uh, I put the link in the description also. There's a button here you can click, and I played it exactly how I'll be teaching you so uh, you can actually hear how I do it and, um, you know, kind of play it in that way. So don't forget to check it out and subscribe if um, you like it. And if you want more videos, uh, you'll get updated right away. All right, let's get to it. So first I'll teach you how to play each chord of the song. Um, and then I'll show you all the stuff to make it sound really nice. So the first chord here, um, actually, I can't really tell you the names of the chords. Um, it's, it's a little confusing in that way. So I'll just tell you which notes to play. So here we're going to start by playing an A in the left hand. You can play two A's in the left hand, actually, if you have uh, a big enough hands for that. Um, you're actually probably going to need to have big enough hands to play an octave for this whole song. It's uh, very important, actually. And then you're going to add this E in the middle here. You can play that. That's your first uh, left hand chord. And then in the right hand, you have a C sharp, two C sharps, actually. Um, and you also have an F sharp. So that's the first chord. You can already tell it kind of sounds like uh, like the song. Now the next chord, you're just going to move your left hand down one note. So you're going to go down to A flat. And you're also going to move uh, your E down to E flat. So you have that in your left hand. And then you're going to take your right hand and move your C sharps down to the B. And keep that F sharp. All right? So your first chord, then move down to the next chord. All right, that's that. The next chord, you're gonna bring your left hand up to B's here. And you're gonna bring your right hand to the D's. And then keep these F's, make sure there's a, you have F's here. All right? And then the chord after that, you're gonna take your left hand, take the B's and move them down to B flat and keep that F. Same thing with your right hand, take the D's, move them down to D flat, C sharp, and keep the F. Okay? So those are the first four chords of the song. Here, I'll play them again just so you can see. First chord, second chord, third chord. All right, let's keep going. The next chord, you're gonna move your hands up to here. So you have two C sharps here, and your G sharp, and then you're gonna have an E, two E's in the right hand, and a G sharp, okay? So there's the next chord. The following chord, you keep your finger here, your index finger here on G sharp, and bring your C sharps down to C. For the right hand, you can keep your index finger here on G sharp and bring your E's down to E flats, okay? So it goes, just quick, little movements. The next chord after this one, you have Fs in the right hand, E flats in the left hand. And then your notes that your second fingers play here is a C in the left hand, C sharp, and G sharp. Okay? So the order again, from the first chord uh, in the second section here. And then the following chord, bring these F sharps down to E's, and these E's, E flats, down to C sharp. And then you have a G sharp right here. Okay? So let's go from the beginning just to get these chords in order, just to make sure you have them. So, first chord. Okay? So, the next chord, you have E's in the left hand here, and you have a C sharp. And then in the right hand, you have G sharps and a C sharp as well. Okay? The next chord, you're gonna move your left hand up to these F sharps and play this E flat. And then take your right hand and take these A flats and just move them up to A's. Okay? And then back down to the same chord you just played before. And then the next chord. 
you have F sharps, G sharp, and you also have E flats in the left hand, and a C sharp here. And then the following chord is E in the right hand, G sharp, keep that G sharp here. And then you're going to bring your left hand down to this C sharp and this B. And then play a G sharp here. So let's go in that, let's go in order again those those uh, four or five chords. Here, up to here, back down. These chords are a little bit faster when you actually play the song. Okay? One more time, just so you get that. And then the last four chords we have are the first chord you played in the, the right at the beginning of the song, same thing, A, E, A, and C sharp, F sharp, and C sharp. Then you're going to bring your hand up, your right hand up to D sharp, and your left hand you're going to bring down to A flat and E flat, okay? And then back to the first chord, and then the final chord is you bring your, your final chord, you bring your left hand up to the B, play an F sharp, and then you're going to do the same thing as you did in the last chord here. You have a D sharp, F sharp, and D sharp again. Let's do those last four chords again just to make sure you get those. Same as the first chord. Left hand down. Back to the first chord. And then up. So let's do those chords, all of them in order, just to make sure that you get those right. So this is starting from the beginning of the song. First chord. So those are all the chords. Yep, it might seem a little bit difficult, but if you do those over and over again, you will get very good at it. So just play these chords like this for a while until you get them. And then once you get them, continue to do what we're going to do next here. We're going to actually play the melody, the piano melody in the right hand now. You can keep the left hand the same. The notes always stay the same. Now what I'm doing is just alternating the notes, playing right hand up and down. Okay, so that's how we do it throughout the whole song, uh, throughout the whole verse here. Okay? It's actually fairly easy. If you know the chords, then it'll be very easy. Um, but it's actually twice the length, so we're going to be holding them like this. Once you're good at that, actually what you're going to do is repeat the left hand notes a little bit. So here, like this, from the beginning. It doesn't really matter exactly what time you play them at. Just do it whenever you think it sounds good. This is usually what I do. So that's it. That's the whole verse. Let me play a little, let me actually play through the whole verse just so you know how to sing along to it as well. All right, so here we go. So you want to start by just playing these notes here. Same notes as the first chord, just without the left hand. And actually it's a little bit faster, so here's, here we go. This is what it'll sound like when you get it right. 
Some saw the sun Some saw the smoke Some heard the gun Some bent the bow Sometimes the wild stands for the known Caught in the fire Say oh We're about to explode and that's when you start the chorus. Now here, the chorus is a lot easier. There's only four chords to learn. The first chord is F sharp major. Okay? Now when you start playing this chord, you're actually gonna take this B flat here and move it down to the A flat. And you're actually gonna go like this. Right? So one, two, three. That's how it sounds in this song uh, when he plays it. The following chord is a C sharp minor chord. So take your left hand and bring it down or up to C's. Whichever one you choose. I like these lower C's, they sound pretty good. And you're gonna play this C sharp minor chord. You have E, G sharp, and B. Okay? And same thing from same thing the same thing you did with the first F sharp chord here, like this. This this movement here. You're gonna kinda do it with the C sharp chord with the B flat and then up to B like this. Okay, so B flat, B flat, B. And then the following chord is an E major chord. So take this, this left hand, these left hand notes, and move them up to E's. And you want to play the same chord you have here. And what I like to do is add this note here, this D sharp. It makes an E major 7 chord. It's very nice. It sounds like the song. And I go like this. Okay. Well, the three notes are E flat. B flat and then back to B and that's it for that chord and the last chord is just a B major chord so B's in the left hand and uh, F sharp B and D sharp um, and then sometimes I like to add this note in sometimes so you can it just sounds nice when you add it uh, in the song so once again those chords are F sharp major the next chord is C-sharp minor. Then you have E major. And then B major. And then when you sing along, it's going to sound like this. Carry That's the chorus. And at that point, you're gonna go back up to the same chords you learned for the verse. These ones here. Same thing for the second verse, exactly. So just go back to the first verse. I'm not gonna go through them all again. It's a, it's a long process. Um, just play the exact same chords and with the new lyrics, look up the lyrics online or something. Um, after that, actually, you're gonna go back to the chorus, right? Same thing as before. Carry Right? Just do it over again. Carry and then this course is a little bit different because you play it a little bit longer. After you do it once like the first chorus, you're gonna start again, repeat the chorus, carry But this time when you play the E chord, you sing something else. Right? And after that section, you can play a little instrumental break that they do. In the, in the real song, it's a guitar, but I play it on the piano here like this. Right? So it's G sharp, F sharp, and then D sharp. 
And when you play it in order, you can go like this. Right? The last one is up one. Right, so G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp. It goes like this. Right? And then repeat the chorus one last time. Carry on, keep going. Same thing. And then finally, when you end the song, you do the chorus again. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So last chord, and then you just play the ending like this. Same chords as the beginning. Same first two chords, but instead of going up, you're going to keep going down. Right, so F sharps, C sharp, A's, and E. This is how I end the song, by the way. And then E's. E's in the left hand, B, G sharp, C sharp, and G sharp again. So here's the ending again. And that's how I end the song. And that's it. So all you gotta do is make sure you practice those chords. These ones here. They're tough to remember, tough to get. Just keep working on it and you'll get it. And once you do, you can play them like this and then just sing along. The chorus is a lot easier, so practice this part more of the verse and then do the chorus and then you'll be set to play them for your family and friends and everybody else who wants to listen. So. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.